As you may know, on Saturday, the 7th of August, we got a new Bleed special one-shot chapter, which, I mean, you might not know that, but uh, you must be living under a rock pretty much if you don't know about it at this point. Bleed's been trending quite a bit ever since. Even before it came out, actually, it has been trending. Anyway, so today we're going to talk about my thoughts on it and what I thought, my first opinions and a few things that I've noticed. Uh, some were noticed by a few people on Twitter as well. Uh, but yeah, we'll get to it. Uh, before we get started, firstly, I'd like to point out that this video does contain spoilers, so if you haven't read the chapter, I would recommend go read it, then come back and watch it or something like that, because it's gonna have spoilers, panels, all sorts. But yeah. Uh, another thing I would like to say is, before anyone starts, I'm not jumping on a trend or being a bandwagon or anything like that. I love Bleach, I sport Bleach, I have loved Bleach since 2014 or 2013, I don't even remember, something like that. I, uh, I've loved it, I've enjoyed it and all that. Just because I'm making a video on it now doesn't mean it's because it doesn't mean I'm jumping on a trend just because it's the talk of the town all of a sudden. I'm doing it now because I stopped myself from making these videos many times before. Like I've worked on four or five of these and then I've been like people are gonna think I'm jumping on the bandwagon for the views and stuff. But this time I'm like I'm gonna do it. <laughs> pretty much I'm doing it. Uh, if you want me to make more content like this, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, with that being said, let's get into it. Let's, you know, uh, as I mentioned, spoilers ahead. First of all, let's take a look at our characters, you know, the cats in the series. Uh, the first person we see in the chapter is Orihime, looking cute as always, you know. Uh, we see Kazui just being the little devil that he is, uh, <laughs> sneaking out of the house with Khan. Uh, kind of like the relationship between Khan and Kazui. Khan feels like a godfather to Kazui, I don't know why, I just get those vibes. Um, also a partner in crime at the same time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Kazui do be like a good kid, you know, kind of cute. Uh, of course, he does keep his promises. So, good kid at heart. Uh, Ichika, we see her training with Ikaku, looking cute, you know. Apparently, she has a crush on Kazui and all that. We see Ichiko with his daddy hair again. Most people do not like that haircut, but in my opinion, it didn't look that bad. I wasn't the most fond of it, but that, that was because I wasn't used to seeing him like that, you know. All of a sudden, it's a change in the last chapter. But he looks good now, like it's a lot more styled properly, so I feel like it looks a lot better now. Definitely like it a lot more than the last chapter one, but yeah, I don't hate it, but it's still a lot better, in my opinion. We get to see all the captains and vice captains, you know, Lisa be looking fine, uh, Isane be looking fine. I actually, in the cover page when it was leaked, I couldn't recognize who Isane was because I'm not used to seeing her with that hairstyle. I used to her with the, you know her hair upwards more, uh, yeah, and like down from the back a little bit. So it was a little. I was like, who's that? <laughs> and when I got told it's something, like, oh, I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> kind of embarrassing, seeing as I do like Sunny quite a bit. <laughs> but yeah, Shinji changes hair again, of course. As always, it's something that looks. Completely random. I don't know. We haven't seen his full look. We have only saw half his face, so maybe it works out. But in that half face, the other face that we did see in that panel, it did look kind of weird. Let's be honest. It looked kind of weird. Like one eye is a lot higher, and for the other eye, it's a lot shorter. Like I don't know, Shinji. You like to try some mad things, but come on, it's some weird things, not mad. I used the wrong words, that just, the, the, that, no, anyways, then we move on to, you know, the new characters, we got Atao and Yuhara, 
Yuhara, Yayahara, Yu Yu. Um, a town looks like a younger town, which I've seen a lot, quite a few people talking about. By quite a few people, I mean two or three people. Uh, I haven't seen that many people uh, talking about this chapter, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, the town does look like a younger town. That was my first opinion as well, but. He's so badass, bro. His Zanpakuto, bro. His Zanpakuto might be one of my favorites. He might become one of my favorites. My guy rides this thing on his blade and it turns into his Shikai. It's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. I'm not gonna lie, it is quite nice. Um, Yu Yu Hara, you know, she's literally like. A social media influencer, the way she like goes up to Ichigo and being like, "Oh, you're the hero of the Great War, aren't you? Take a pic, let me take a selfie, and I'll, I'll put on the filter and this and that." Like, bro, that's such a social media influencer thing. I mean, she does. Uh, they do say that she's quite like a Gyaru, <laughs> so you know, <laughs> maybe that's what the Gyarus are like. <laughs> you, know? you see, Akon fight for the first time. Like, I like Akon. From the beginning, uh, I just like his style and everything. His like horns on his like I don't know if they're horns or, or whatever they are on his forehead. I think it looks cool. And now we see him fight for the first time. Whether he that was his actual Samato Shikai or he used some chemicals or whatever, it's keto anything. It was cool. Nonetheless, it was cool. Uh, the thing, uh, the whole thing going around that Yuji might be the door of. Uh, Kisuke Urahara and uh, Yoruichi. Uh, it's not a bad shout, but at the same time, I don't see how it will work because there's this one theory that maybe she was born before Kisuke was exiled, uh, or because of course it can't be after the war because she wouldn't be 12, would she? Because it's 12 years after the war, so she doesn't look 12. Uh, but that doesn't work because. Firstly, she has no like she she's not considered in, like a Shihoin clan member. That might be to hide her real identity. The name could be, but I don't know. I just get the vibes of maybe she, she's not. Uh, I don't know why. I just get vibes. The vibes aren't right, you know. Kira do be looking hella depressed though, you know. Kira like we see his. He seems to be in a bad condition. You know why not? Why did I saw someone say? Why 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 didn't he go to Orihime? Uh, the same. Why didn't he go to Orihime to get himself healed? The same could be said about uh, Captain Kurok. Why didn't he go to her to get his eye fixed? Because she can just reject it all. Because uh, ability is that like OP. <laughs> she can just reject any sort of injury. So why not go to her? <laughs> And get it all fixed. Then who knows? Maybe yeah, we'll talk about it later on. You know, we'll talk about that later on. Uh, Yumichika changed his hairstyle again. Shock! Uh, when he first showed up, I thought it, 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 that that person was actually a girl for a second, and uh, then realized it was a trap. And I'm like, oh, she, who's she? She looking fine. Oh wait, it's Yumichika. I was about to say she's looking fine, and I was like, oh wait, that's Yumichika. Uh, never mind that. Uh, Kago opened a ramen shop. Like, when I, I see that my boy's working hard, fam, but he's putting an effort. But he ain't getting the customers, fam. Apparently, he's the. He, I think that was the thing. I don't know how true this is, but didn't Kago end up with Tosky? I swear, if you ain't treated my wife right, bro. If that is true, and you ain't treated my wife right, we got we got issues, Kago. We got issues, like issues. Anyways, let's get into the story and all. So we see Kazu is very carefree. He just leaves without anything, uh, just straight up out of the window. Uh, you see, Ichika is a very emotional kid. Uh, she gets emotional very easily and stuff like that. You know. Wait, can we just talk about Mayuri? But my guy does not care about people's privacy, bro. Learn to respect pe about people's privacy, bro. My guy just set up <laughs> like transmitters everywhere without anyone knowing, fam. Like, you're listening to everything in the social society. Bro, what? You hear people clap? 
cheeks, fam. Like what? Oh, the, it's kind of kind of weird, bro. You're kind of weird. <laughs> but you know what? Let's not let's let's just not go there. As I mentioned a Tao's power is quite cool. Uh, the way he writes his something on his shikai, uh, blade, for example, Toro, and it releases his shikai and it turns into hawks. And they disintegrated everything, the bones of that hollow, or ghoul, sorry, not hollow, the ghouls from hell. Yu's fighting is definitely like very shihoin, like, you know, he doesn't use sample Toro, hands in, you know, straight in. He just, Attacks and then straight up goes for the genitals area, even though the ghouls don't have genitals. Still went for it. Still went for it. it hurts even seeing it happen, even though they don't have it. Anyways, uh, one thing uh, that kind of like I saw it was Aaron Nero, I think. Aaron, Aaron Nero, BBS YouTuber, the BBS YouTuber, Aaron Nero. Uh, he mentioned the the, the, the 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 thing that appears that attack trend you to begin with looks a little bit like Wonderwise, which I do agree. It looks like Wonderwise's release form, where he's like very weird and all that, so that he can like keep region like uh, I was gonna say ban region Jaka, but like I I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but yeah, it looks like Wonderwise's release pretty much, um, and. Maybe it has some relation to it, maybe some sort of foreshadowing, but I can't say much about it. That's like very like maybe just people wanting to throw in a subtle like thing, like will people notice it or not type thing. Coming back to Kira, uh, the thing I was mentioning, why hasn't he got himself healed from Orihime? Maybe I was thinking in this headlock, Ichigo takes Kira to Orihime before they go into hell and she fixes him up. But I'm just saying, that's gonna be sick. That's gonna be dope, bro. I love Kira. And if he actually comes back like that, gas. I, I don't want to see Kira depressed. It makes me sad, bro. So please, Kubo, if you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I was gonna say if you listen to this, but if you are listening to this, please just good, make Kira a little bit happier, please. <laughs> Give something good to you, Kira. <laughs> Anyways, I love her grants. Man's a weird guy, you know. Man's a weird guy. Uh, freaky and cool, but at the same time very weird. The so so La Pro appears from hell. Apparently, he's apparent not apparently. Literally, he was in hell. He comes out of hell to greet Renji. Uh, my guy needs to put some respect on Uryu and Ma uh, Mayuri's name because he calls Mayuri the mad scientist and Uryu that's crowning Quincy. <laughs> so, put some respect on their name, bro. Mayuri's the goat. If you know, you know. I mean, it's on the screen, so you definitely know. And Uryu's definitely sick as well. He's one of the goats as well. So, yeah. But he must be happy, though, you know? My, my guy must be happy. My guy, Zalapro, must be so gassed that his hollow hole is finally not where it was it's outside his body he might have got his genitals back because if you don't know Zylapro at all is I mean you should it's where his penis is come on straight up <laughs> my guy says hell is a nice place like bro, 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 bro. Uh, are you listening to what you're saying hell did, did I just hear you right you, 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 just, you did just say hell is a nice place right like what uh, I mean, point of view, I guess, POV, differs from other people. Ichigo, let's talk about him, bro. My guy looking good. My guy looking like a cool badass. My guy just splits the chains of hell like it's nothing. Now, you've seen the Bleach Hell was movie. Now, something that was said by another YouTuber, Jim Hansen, link in the description. He's the one who really inspired me to do these videos. Uh, he said that the Bleach Hammerhorse movie, take it as regard of the concept is right, but the events 
are not quite there like the events did not happen the events are not canon the concept is but not the events i love how each girl just comes in cuts the chains and when Xylop was like i'm gonna kill you my guy's like who the hell are you <laughs> i love the way like kubo has drawn each girl's face i i just love that 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 like mouth the way he's drawn them each girl's mouth when he say who the hell are you <laughs> i just that's that's just one thing that i quite like I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I like when characters make those kind of things in the serious situations, be, uh, talking to some serious stuff, you know. Kyoraku mentions his superstition uh, about the whole thing, but I wanna know what Kyoraku said, bro. I wanna know what my guy said, bro. Because I'm certain that Kyoraku and Zaylapuro are talking about completely different stuff. Because Kubo cuts it off and Zylapro finishes the sentence. But is he finishing Kubo's sentence or is, is he a Kubo? Is he finishing Kyoraku's sentence or is he finishing his own sentence? We don't we don't hear what Zylapro starts his sentence from and we don't find out what Kyoraku ends his sentence with. You know? We can't say that they're like we can't say that what Zylopro said is what Kyoraku said. Another thing that was mentioned by James Hansen is that the whole thing of the petals in Itsuga Toshiro's Bankai are a timer on how long he can use Bankai. That was said by Harley Bell and everyone believed that to be true. But it turned Toshiro never said anything like that. And it turned out those panels were not actually a time limit on how long he can use Bankai, but a time limit till he can use the full power of his Bankai. So we can always be like, unless the person says, says it themselves, we can't think that this is true or false. And we're saying that Yamamoto, Unhana, Ukitake all help with this ritual. Or this soul, uh, Konso, I, I don't know, it's all Konso, something, I, I've forgotten the actual term. As much as I don't want to believe it, uh, we, we literally see at the end of the chapter, Ukitake's uh, Sogyo no Kotowari stabbing Zylapur from the gates of hell, so maybe Ukitake is now the gatekeeper? That's what we can imagine, because before it was some random person with a red face who stabs Shrika from the first chapter which we'll also talk about in a bit but yeah we, can, we do know that they're in hell but I feel like there's more to it than just okay this is a festival that's done but this actually sends them to hell I feel like there's actually more to it than just that so and we're gonna have to wait uh, till the, we get the next chapter to find out more about it which uh, but I can wait I can wait I can wait. Also, are we gonna get new characters? The return of some old characters like Aronero, because he was in the episode. I think it was just the episode, yeah, for the Hell Wars movie, where Zylapur and Aronero were both in Hell, uh, so Aronero could make a return. Or Kyora, a lot of people are speculating he might return. Stark, some people are saying hopefully he returns, because of course Stark is a fan favorite too and I want him to return. I don't, everyone loves Stark. Some people also want Grimjard to return again, I would love that as well, but yeah. Of course we're gonna get some cool new characters and all as well, you know. So yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of excited for that. Uh, kind of excited to see who these characters are gonna be and how it's gonna tie in with the Soul Society. Because they've been sending these characters over for time, you know. And it's been happening for time, so. I feel like there's gonna be a connect to the soul side in some way, shape, or form. Would Tokinata also be in hell? It is a possibility that Tokinata, Tokinata, Tokinata also shows up. Nara hasn't had a soul funeral festival, whatever thing, you know. So maybe not. Maybe not. But it's not been 12 years since his death. Maybe it has, but I don't think it has, because. Actually, it has it definitely has it definitely has this time skip. It, it happens between it might have it might have not definitely, but it might have because those events happen between the end of the Blood War, the Tanya Blood War, and 
the final chapter so we don't know exactly at what point so yeah I was gonna say it happens between the events of the Ichigo's power loss but that's completely wrong I was gonna say a wrong statement there but yeah the, uh, the help of Fly Law is quite good um, but the Kubo has taken a concept that was already present and turned it into something that he didn't think of or whether he had this idea since the start and that's why he did this either way it's a cool idea and I'm all for it to be honest uh, I want to know. I want to find out why hell butterflies are called hell butterflies. I assume they're for surveillance on Shinigami, so that people, from the the warden or someone from hell, can keep an eye on Shinigami. I don't know, but who knows? Uh, we can only speculate right now. Another thing that I'm assuming at the end of the chapter, we see Ichigo's Soul Reaper Shinigami Daiko badge. We see it sh uh, shine and being like highlighted you know uh, I feel like that acted as when that opera says you killed these hollows or ghouls from hell right in front of Utaki Jushiro that acts as some sort of like shrine or something like that to do with because it had something to do with Utake so that because of that the ritual was complete and why it was highlighted so that's another theory I don't know for sure maybe it was maybe it was just because he was you know he said he can't because he's not in hell they're sending him to hell through the ritual so i think that's that's how it happened that the, the soul reaper badge had some sort of lingering maybe rare to your ukitake that affected it or something like that uh but yeah so let's get into the the, the, the thing of uh, i'll put in screenshots i tweeted this out uh yesterday I don't know when you're watching on the ninth of August, I tweeted it out. Uh, I added James Hansen, so it got a little bit of reception. Uh, it was that all reading, I saw that the the, the, the Hell Gates in the in the latest arc don't have bandages that they have in the chapter when it, we have we first see the Hell Gates. In the first chapter, there are these red slips on the, the heads are covered in bandages one eye is covered by those bandages and we see these red slip things i don't know it's maybe tags or something like that on those bandages now those bandages are gone and those tag things are gone i'm sorry <laughs> i don't know what they're actually called um but those are gone and they have got horns and one of the eye has been revealed because of it and the visible eye at the end of the chapter might be some sort of foreshadowing but we don't know fully whether it is or not pretty much i tweeted out while doing a video about my thoughts on the new bleak chapter which is the video we're doing right now uh i'll stumble upon this so i recorded this yesterday on the 9th and this is when I discovered this thing that I'm talking about. At first, it just looks like the Hellgate from the new chapter and the ones we saw. But I realized something. In the original Hellgate's design, the heads of the skeletons on the gates are covered by bandages, while in the new chapter, bandages are gone, which also revealed the eye of the skeletons. Do you think it was done by Kubo as a simple design change, or do you think it has something to do with the story? Now, as you can see, these are the things I'm talking about, these, uh, I'll point them out in the video. Well, in the new chapter they have horns, and that's also revealing the eye. Now, in the replies, someone has said, uh, so one person said, don't forget to say there's a problem, that person pointed it out, the horn thing, and this person also pointed out that the eye is the same as the Kazui, the ones around Kazui when he clapped his hands uh, and he opened the weird Garganta type portal which we, we don't know if it is Garganta it is what looks very similar to the portal thing that Zyl Arpura comes out of it has this different shape but has stuff like teeth just similar to the one that Kazui opens so it might be that also another person said i agree in the panels where kazu summons them you can see that there are three eyes which leaves one last one left on the gates which we see here another thing that's 
throws us off even more. Uh, the other plot just means that Kazuya opened the portal to hell, and the fact that the things that are came out look similar gives off those sharp vibes. Person replied, "Yet, I, also I think this means Kazuya has been sending random spirits he finds in Karakura Town to hell, which is kind of sad." To which I reply, "That's big with everyone that is there, because Kazuya sent them." Now, this person also replied saying, "Someone also the other person replied saying." Poor soul guy, Kazuhi is such an innocent kid, we don't know if he's evil or not from his expression, to which I replied, I think he's doing it thinking he's actually helping them, not knowing that he's actually sending them to hell, he is a kid after all, so seeing that he is, you can't say that he's the bad guy, because he's, what, 10 years old, less than 10 years old, you know, no, no around 10, 12 years old, something like that, yeah, definitely not 12 years old. Less than 12, like 6, 7 years old, I think, maybe, max. Less than 10, definitely. But, so, he doesn't have the judgement of what's right and what's wrong. He doesn't know anything about much about the soul side or anything like that. So, he might be sending them over, thinking, oh, I'm actually helping them out, not knowing the, the whole console thing. And he might be sending them to hell, thinking that he's actually doing them a nice, well, and then he's actually sending them to hell, which I might do a whole thing on it, a different video if you want me to, let me know in the comments down below, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video, I think, I might do a separate video on it if you don't want me to, but that's going to be it for this video, I uh, hope you all have enjoyed, uh, I will be doing another video on the whole Bleach Hellworth lore, uh, this whole hell related stuff and everything we know about hell so far all that but yeah that's gonna be it for this video hope you all have enjoyed if you did consider subscribing and all that you know let me know if i should do more of this style of videos i will of course continue even if you lot say no because i'm enjoying this not gonna lie this is actually very fun the editing part is definitely not fun but <laughs> just thinking of these stories these things and just all that is exciting and fun so I'll definitely be continuing it and if it gets zero views I'll still continue it <laughs> so yeah uh, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in a new world peace